Okay, so hello again everyone. Um, today I'm making this video on uh, AFO leg splints. Now, uh, leg splints are uh, good for um, supporting your ankles and your feet when you're walking. And now, depending on the control level that you have, um, you may have some control from your hips, so you might be able to move your whole leg forward. So, what you would get for yourself is a KAFO, and that's basically normally said as a, a CAFO. Uh, brace. Now that is a brace that comes all the way up the leg. I'll put a, a picture to uh, a CAFO brace um, on the screen just now and you'll see it. Um, this, the braces I use um, are these. Now these are uh, air bolt splints. Um, that's, uh, these are obviously yeah, uh, the AFO splints and um, they support my, my ankle and my foot. Because my, my feet don't have much control. Um, if you've seen in my other videos or my walking videos, you'll see that. Um, well, you might be able to notice that I'm wearing these. It's kind of hard to notice when you're wearing these because um, um, unless you actually feel down there for it, because you'll feel a hard splint, obviously, on the leg. Um, so they're, they're really beneficial for walking. Um, and um, obviously, they're... Uh, uh, I've had these for a while now since I've started to started to um, progress to walk again. Um, so I'm going to put the splints on just now and I will uh, re-angle the camera so you can see me do that. Okay, so as you can see, here's the leg splints and the shoes that I use. Um, now the leg splints and shoes that I use, uh, the shoes are just a standard pair of basically shoe shop shoes. Um, these are actually. Um, they are branded shoes, I just went and kind of bought them uh, at a store basically, they cost about, I don't know, maybe 40 or £50, pounds, the kind of regular price for a pair of shoes um, these days, um, unfortunately, <laughs> um, but but these, uh, they're just really standard kind of casual shoes that I can wear with the splints and they just go right on, so um, hopefully this angle is good enough to show you me trying to put these splints on. Um, I'm just gonna move uh, the move the shoes out of the way at the moment. Um, don't really need them at the moment. So what I'd normally do is bring my uh, bring my uh, jeans up a bit on the leg, and uh, as you can see, the foot just kind of sort of goes down like that. I can't I can't control it to go up. So um, I just kind of I put these splints on, and that solves all the issues with that. Um, so the splint. I'll just kind of show you here how it goes on. The splint kind of goes on by basically it's kind of uh, it just slots around the leg basically and around the foot, um, and then just I just kind of strap, put the strap over, um, and the strap just kind of goes through that slot there, and then you just pull it tight and then put it over there, and that's it. Um, straight on and uh, these are quite uh, quite easy to put on um, I can't imagine you'll find a set of braces that will be difficult to get on they are a bit frustrating putting them on every time that I need to walk but um, they are been they are really beneficial and couldn't I just couldn't walk without them basically um, so so here we go I'm going to show you me standing up with them on, um, so you can see me actually doing that. Um, so here we go, uh, just going to put the shoes on now. This is probably out of the camera shot, but that's just the standard way that you put a shoe on. So there we go, and the shoe's on. Now, when you're buying shoes for splints, a good tip for you is to get shoes that are a size up. What, like maybe just one or two numbers up and uh, maybe not two because uh, two numbers up may be too big um, I'm normally a size 10 on my feet so uh, I just buy a size 11 for the splints and that gets that just solves all the problems depends on what type of shoe it is uh, I normally stand up with crutches so I'm going to stand up here and uh, as you can see the um, the braces are supporting me. Um, I've deliberately left the left the trouser leg up so you can see 
um, you can see that brace there, it's basically on and it's obviously just kind of keeps the foot and everything in place um, and I can basically step around with them um, so just going to sit back down here so I hope that was a kind of good demonstration of uh, leg braces and such um, and to show you, showing you the mean I'm putting them on and such um, if you go to your hospital or your doctor um, hopefully you can get these prescribed um, well not necessarily prescribed but <laughs> um, but made up for you uh, they have machine like that. they have uh, laser technologies and such these days which they can avoid putting any kind of casts or any plaster or anything on you to uh, to measure you up for them and um, they basically just scan your leg on a wee foot pedestal and uh, that makes it up but uh, that's it really for uh, leg splints and uh, thanks for watching okay so thanks for watching that and um, I hope you find that beneficial um, to anyone that basically is, uh, is wanting to wear leg splints and potentially start to um, try and kind of walk again um, obviously it is good to get up on your feet and also moving about while up on your feet instead of stuck in like a standing frame um, I showed my standing frame in a previous video, I'm actually going to put a link to that um, but you might want to just kind of get out of the standing frame every so often and try and um, like, uh, mobilise around maybe your home or around maybe a big hall or something and try and kind of get uh, out and about um, and around kind of places so you can stand up and look about and see everything um, while you're kind of up, like up on your feet um, and it's also good to kind of, it's also good for kind of like, um, like family and friends seeing you up and about, like they'll be, somehow they're always much happier when they see you, <laughs> um, up and around, so, uh, thanks for watching and, um, I hope you find this be uh, video beneficial, um, I'm hoping to make uh, a few more videos in the next few weeks, um, about like sort of some more wheelchair, um, subject things and, uh, mobility things. Um, because obviously uh, I think I think you people find the find the videos beneficial, and uh, um, I can actually find it beneficial to refresh my mind on uh, certain things. Just kind of how how complex a process actually is to me on a daily basis. Um, but the light splints, uh, that is a pretty simple subject, and uh, you would uh, I mean uh, you just really need to get measured up for them, and uh, and that's it. But uh, thanks for watching again and uh, check out my next videos.